Welcome to Boomhauer 69 channel and today I'm going to show you the Smith & Corona word processor with monitor. These are pretty, these are kind of a rare forgotten item nowadays. These electronic typewriters with a monitor. Yes, this does work and here's the Smith & Corona logo on there. There's the PP and it's a PWP3800 personal word processor office system. There's what the keyboard looks like. And this didn't have a number pad back in the day, but this is what the keyboard looks like. There's the on and off switch. We'll turn that on, and then we'll go over here and turn the monitor. Turn on, and so you can see where it reads here. We'll turn it off here and then turn it back on. There you go, it says personal word processor, 1992. Come on, focus. Here, let me retry that. So we can get a better view of that. Personal word processor, 1992. And then what you do is, when it pops up, it will ask you what you want to do. There's the menu, where it will ask you to select. And you just simply go on here to your letters, you know. Then we'll hit create a new document and then you can start typing and this right here is the printer to print out on a piece of paper earlier I was messing around with it yes it still has ink as you can see it looks better on yeah my camera is not focusing very good but yeah it's got paper and one thing you can do with this you can either manually feed your paper in like this or you can go over here and hit code shift and paper in and it will automatically feed your paper in and prepare it for typing of course i don't got the paper even let me show you it's a little sideways there but then you can hit and go over here and then you can type away on here And as you can see, it will pop up what you're typing. And then when you're done typing something, you can hit code. I'll show you here. Hit code, and then this will feed the paper out. Hit code, and then the other shift button that says paper out here. You hit that code and paper out, and then it will show you what you type. And it says, hi, Boomhauer. My code button allows you to access certain features, or you can go back to word processor. Again, create a new document. And then you can type on the actual screen itself. And there's the cat box, so like back in. And the little green light there on the cat lots let you know you got your your capital letters on. As you can see there, it's got capital letters. And then like any one you can do word erase and and then I'll show you over here on the side. This is your um your contrast and brightness settings. Here's some information about it. And there's the the power and your um and the um hookup for the monitor. And there's where it hooks up at on the back. And there's where you store your um power cable. The power cable is hardware in. The monitor cable is hardware in. This is not a VGA monitor. I think this is what they call I think it might even be considered monochrome text only. So you can't do certain characters. You can do like, you know, your apostrophes and stuff. This is one of the old. This is something you cannot use on a normal computer. No way in hell. But there you go. There's a little video about this. I don't know a whole lot about these, you know. 
what they was is back in the day in the 80s this is made in 1992 but back in the early days in the early 90s i should say let's see if we can get that to focus in more well my hand's shaky but back in the 80s years in the early 90s you had the options between a wakeware computer like the texas instrument the attendees the ibms the commodores or if you're somebody that didn't want all the fancy computer features you had the option of an electronic typewriter without monitor or they even sold them with a monitor or certain ones. Now I have another typewriter that you can't hook up a monitor to. It's just an electronic typewriter that you plug in and uses electricity. Because back in the day, I don't know who was the first, IBM or other typewriters or whoever, Got the idea, let's make a a typewriter with a monitor like a computer. Because once it got to the middle 90s, that's when typewriters, electronic typewriters and electronic word processors went, became obsolete because the computer took the world by storm. This was basically the last attempt to try to get people still using the typewriter market get you know i used to have a manual typewriter and i used to have at one time an ibm typewriter but i threw that out because it quit working for some reason and at the time i was a young guy and didn't really understand how valuable those old ibm typewriters were but this again is an old smith and corona typewriter and it's a pw 3800 personal word processor office system now when I got this it didn't come with no manuals or discs I don't have that I do have here the um dust cover I'll show that you put it on like so and and that keeps you know your keyboard from getting dust in the cracks you know and you're, and I can't I, come on here I'll pause this but there's what it looks like when you have it off and everything, and you got your dust cover on there. At least I think I got it. There's the dust cover and what it looks like when you're when not in use. Yes, you have to manually, like back here is where the power switch is, you have to manually shut that off. That just has a little typical black switch with a little circle and stick on it, you know, the zero and one for on and off. But back in the day, again, these were the last ditch efforts, I basically call it, the last ditch efforts to keep, you know, keep typewriters irrelevant in, in the modern world. But as computers became more advanced in the 90s, and of course, we all know what happened when the World Wide Web browser came out, you know, then everybody went to computers and then everybody ditched typewriters, but... These were basically back in the day were were alongside um computers in the eighties, you know. These word processor typewriters were in were alongside, you know, computers back in the eighties and early nineties you would see these. You look in the magazine and you might see a um desktop a way where like candy computer or ibm or texas instrument or commodore for a certain price and then you'd also see a word processor for a certain price and these are not these word processor this one is is not a full-fledged computer all it basically allows you to do is certain things like maybe spreadsheets and certain office like word documents like you can't play games on this but you can you know, type and do math and certain things on it if you have the disc, which I don't have the disc for it, so I'm kind of limited on what I can do. Now, I can type a letter and then print it out and and, and mail it to somebody, but, you know, it's what they call snail mail. I can snail mail a letter, but, yeah, this is just a vintage. I wanted to show a quick little kind of video of a vintage teach, um, typewriter. In case anybody out there has never seen one of these before, here's a video of, about one in case you've never seen one before. And then for the people who know about these and they're fascinated like I am with vintage technology, you know, 
And this was a great find. I like it. You know, I keep it around, and once in a while I get out, and, and I mess with it. But, yeah. I used to have one of these, a brother brand, but that quit working, so I threw that one out, and, and I saved this one that's working. The only thing is I have the one screw on the back that I accidentally broke off, so I can't detach the monitor because it's stuck on there for good now. But you used to be able to remove the monitor in this and make it easier to tow it around. I have to figure out how to remove that screw and maybe get like a tap and die set or something or figure something out. But yeah, well, that's it. Because right here is the port where you plug in your monitor and... You can even use this without the monitor. Like, I think back in the day, what they used to do is sell this separate and then the monitor as like an option. I don't know. Or they might have sold this as a set. I'm not for sure on that. I'll have to do some more research on that later on. But yeah. But no, no, it works. Best to my knowledge, it works and all the keys seem to work. And it's a neat, to me, a neat thing and a neat find, you know. I know there's other YouTubers out there that know more about these vintage technology stuff than I do, you know, and I suggest checking them out as well, and I just want to make a video of what I have as a collection right now, you know, I love old technology and stuff, and I find this stuff kind of interesting. It'll be one of those things after I get sick and tired of it, I'll probably put it up on the sale block or something, you know, it might end up on the marketplace after I'm done with it, if I... Decide I don't have the room for it, but for now I really like this. It does need some cleaning and here and there and retro brighting as they call it, but oh no. And what fascinating caught my eye is the monitor, you know. I had totally forgot all about these. I'm like, wait a second. I remember that because when I saw this online, I'm like, wait a second. I remember those because I remember them, but I had forgotten about them. And I thought, oh cool, a vintage word processor with monitor. Because I know these are a pretty rare item. You don't see these much no more you know this is a a forgotten item and that's why i wanted to do a video about it so future generations can come along and and see this and say oh cool because this was made in 1992 as you've seen on the screen and and again after the late 80s after the middle 90s that's when these phased out and everybody stopped you know buying typewriters and went more to the computers you know especially when the internet started pop on seeing the World Wide Web, you know, and Internet Explorer, Netscape, and, and AOL, American Online, and all those started to become popular, and the Internet started to become more popular. Then everybody, of course, by then had already ditched these in the garbage. And But, yeah, I just want to show this little piece of history of technology. You know, these were, I say, I think these first popped on seeing the word processors with monitor in the, Later 70s, and then throughout the 80s, and then the early 90s is when they started phasing these out. So, yeah. If you like more of these videos, I've got some videos about some vintage telephones I collect. But, yeah, if you like this sort of stuff and you, and you find me interesting, you know, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you like. And comment below down what your thoughts on vintage word processor, typewriters with monitor. Again, I have another Smith & Corona without a, a monitor, and if you like this sort of stuff, you know, feel free to subscribe to my channel and comment below what your thoughts are again on, on these kind of typewriters and your electronic word processing typewriters are. And, and, and if you happen to know any websites where I can get some of the, the um, programs that they probably would have had or owner's manual, you know, feel free to put, put that in the, down in the comment section of this video. And, and again, I hope you all have a nice day and hope you learned something. And I do apologize if I wasn't very good at, at talking about this. You know, I'm not very good with, you know, talking about electronic things. You know, I try to des describe best of my knowledge what I know of these and, and thank you for taking the time and watching my videos and hope you have a good day.